There's a study done by researchers at Texas Tech and they found a link between number of tattoos a person has and the amount of deviance they are involved in. Basically, the amount of trouble they cause. So what they found was people who have four or more tattoos are more likely to do several things. First of all, report regular use of marijuana, occasionally use other illegal drugs, more likely to have a history of arrest, drink, cheat on college work, and be sexually promiscuous. So pretty much do a bunch of illegal things. So everyone, I'm not saying that if you, you know, start smoking pot, you're going to go out and commit a bunch of crime. But let me go ahead and ask you this. Let me get your opinion. Why do you think that is that people with tattoos, there is a correlation between them and basically crime? This, uh, I think about this all the time because I have two tattoos. I want another one. I, you know, I, like they said, like people say all the time, like tattoos are addictive and they are. But I think it's a common misconception that people with tattoos are criminal deviants. But I have two tattoos. I've never been arrested. Ever. Well, that's one person out of this entire study. And, I know that. And you're saying it's a common misconception, and that's what they went to prove. They're proving that it isn't a common misconception, and there actually is a correlation between people with there tattoos. Is. Yeah, that's what they just proved in the study. They showed that people with tattoos are more likely to do this list of illegal things. I... Yeah, but so I hate you... to generalize that all people with tattoos are like that, though. I'm, they're not saying that. They're not saying all people with tattoos are likely to do this. They're saying there's a correlation. There's a relationship between people who have more tattoos are more likely to do these things. Okay, all right. So you can't disagree with that. All Those right, are the I can't, facts. Okay, I can't disagree with it. I'm asking, why do you think that is, that people who are likely to get tattoos are also the ones who are likely to commit crimes. Those are undisputable. We can't dispute right. that. Okay. So why do you think that is? Probably because people who get tattoos might... I know that people who have more serious jobs or like an office job, you know, they can't have tattoos like exposed or, you know, don't want to. It's kind of, I guess, not the right thing to do. So I don't know, maybe people with more tattoos are just... I don't know, maybe they just have naturally bad judgment since they have four tattoos. So they naturally make bad decisions and get arrested and stuff like that. But not you, of course. <laughs> not no. me, though. Oh, not yet, at least. Maybe on tattoo number three or four. Exactly. So um, let me ask you this. Now that you say that, is it okay to judge people based on their tattoos? Since this relationship shows it is more likely that if you have someone that has a tattoo versus someone who doesn't have a tattoo, they're more likely to use illegal drugs, for instance. So would it be all right if I was hiring two people exactly the same clone, except one of them has a tattoo and one of them does it? Is it okay to kind of discriminate and say, okay, I'm going with a person without a tattoo for this reason, it being a person with a tattoo? It just depends on what type of person you are, whether you think that tattoos... Uh, it just bothers me because I feel like people without tat there's horrible people who don't have any tattoos. So it's like there's bad people everywhere. I know that it's proven that people with more tattoos are, you know, considered deviants or whatnot. But I mean it's it really is up to the person who's doing the hiring, you know. And I agree with me you. Me personally worries. I would never judge I I can't say I would never, but someone with like just, you know, like a couple tattoos, maybe nothing like offensive or anything like that. You know, it's considered art sometimes. Like self-expression. Yeah, but, you know, some people do go a little crazy or, you know, if someone had like a swastika tattoo, something like, you know, scary. So then you would judge them. So I disagree with you why when I said, why do you think this is? And you said, you know, kind of self-expression and all that. I think that it's kind of the people who want to be rebellious in a way. I think that that's one of the reasons that people get tattoos. And I know I'm aware that a lot of people do it because of self-expression. And maybe they get a tattoo as a reminder of something that meant something to them, like a symbol or, you know, someone you cared about. But a lot of people 
get it because they just want to be rebellious and that's the group i'm aware of what you're saying that there are good people and bad people in both sides so you right. shouldn't judge people based on that but it's this little group of people who want to be re rebellious and that's who get tattoos so kids out there i don't want to give advice to adults but i'm saying this don't get a tattoo just because you think it's defiant or cool i'm honestly not going to say like a lot of people say don't get a tattoo or you will regret it because I don't know if you're going to regret it or not. But I'm just saying, make sure that you get it for the right reasons. And I want to say that, you know, no one's going to judge you in real life. But in reality, people are going to judge you in the future based on your tattoos. They if you have well. a little tattoo on your wrist, people are going to make these assumptions about you. And it's not fair. It's not right. But that's life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're a man or a woman, if you're fat or skinny, if you have a tattoo or not, it's not fair, but people do make these assumptions about you. So just be aware of that. And that's the only advice I have to give. What about you having a tattoo? I've got two. Why did you get your tattoos? Um, I got my first one because, well, it's um, Gaelic Irish tattoo and it has like a Celtic trinity and it says mother, daughter and Gaelic. And I don't know, I'm like this with my mom. So it's a symbol of yeah, your Yeah, it's like a heart and a Celtic trinity because I'm Irish Catholic. And your other one? It's a butterfly, <laughs> but that has, you know, it might be kind of like your typical cliche girl tattoo, but I don't know. The monarch holds a little bit more meaning to me than... So have you ever, for one instance, regretted your tattoos? No. Do you think as you get older, you may ever regret them? If I end up weighing like 400 pounds and the butterfly on my back turns into like some gigantic triceratops, then I might regret it. 